It's exactly 10 years since the capital of the United Kingdom acquired its first ever cableway over the Thames. The first urban cable car in Great Britain, sponsored by Emirates Airline, began operating just before the start of the 2012 Summer Olympic Games held in London. At the time, it enabled visitors to the Olympics to commute between two major sporting venues. The cableway was built with the help of a Liebherr LR11350 crawler crane. The Scottish crane contractor Weldex used the crane to install the highest of the three pylons on the south bank of the river. Welcome to the third edition of our Upload Video Magazine 2022. Now it's all business as usual until the Bauma Trade Fair in Munich at the end of October. And we've already brought you two highlights this year. An even bigger crawler crane than the one just shown in London. The new LR12500-1.0. And a very small compact crane that heralds the future in this size class. The LTC 1050-3.1 with electric crane drive. And it's precisely this model that we'll now be taking a closer look at. The accelerating climate revolution demands drive concepts for use in the building industry which reduce emissions of greenhouse gases. To meet the needs of customers and the demand for greener equipment as far as possible, we're working on alternative drive units that are perfectly tailored to the machine's application and location, without focusing on any one individual technology. Our LTC 1050-3.1 compact crane is therefore now equipped with an electric motor in addition to the conventional drive. This enables the crane movements to be powered electrically as an option. The new version of our compact 50-ton crane therefore helps to reduce CO2 emissions and meets the requirements for operating on zero-emission sites. Jan, what were the guiding principles for this new development? Our mobile cranes prove themselves as all-rounders on construction sites every day. The LTC in particular is also at home on indoor jobs. First off, however, we'll travel to the construction site conventionally using the combustion engine, preferably with HVO, of course. Once on a construction site, we have two options. The first is the silent and emission-free electric drive. As for the second option, whenever we don't have an electrical connection on the construction site, the traction motor is of course used as before. A major goal for us is to create a simple, user-friendly drive system that's suitable for every construction site. And our colleagues in the design department are working on this at full speed right now. The slogan for this crane is Zero Emissions, Full Power. What does that actually mean? With the electric drive, it was important for us from the outset that we could reach the level, the performance, the speed of the conventional drive, which is why we have realized different connection variants. The 125 amp variant gives us virtually the same speed as the combustion engine. With the 63 amp variant, we're already noticing some initial reductions in speed, but this has hardly any effect in actual practice on the construction site. We look forward to seeing how our crane drivers will rate the 32 amp variant. By the way, we'll see an electric battery pack at Bauma. Naturally, this can always be used if there is no electrical infrastructure on the construction site. Great, Jan. Many thanks for these first impressions and the background information. And of course, you will all have the opportunity to see and also test this crane live at Bauma. New cranes, new solutions, and some of them digital. Our MyLeapHair customer portal has been completely updated and expanded and is now available to all customers. 
Stefan, what can our customers expect to find in the new portal? My Leapair is where all our digital offers, applications and services are combined and clearly and simply presented to our customers. A large number of applications and features are already included and new possibilities and extensions are constantly being added. It is important to us that a large number of these services are freely available, or at least that there is a free basic license. For our customers, this means that all they have to do is register. With MyLeapair, we want to make things transparent for our users, with all digital offers, applications and services under one roof. Sarah, what are the latest developments in the MyLeapair Cosmos? We launched a completely new design and interface in five languages in May. And anyone who's logged into MyLeapair since then will have noticed big changes. The start page now shows the customer their registered fleet, with various applications that belong to the unit, such as the product documentation, the option to replace the diesel particle filter, as well as the corresponding spare parts catalogue. In addition to a quick way to contact your customer service representative, there's also an overview of all available applications. For example, our Crane Planner 2.0, the Crane Finder, the Leacon Universal Application Planner, as well as the License Shop. I think we've taken a big step forward with the new design, and this is also reflected by the initial feedback from some customers. What's still to come, and which aspects of MyLeapair are going to be shown at Bauma? We're currently working hard on our telemetry application. It's extremely important to us not only to show the crane data, but also to prepare, analyze and present this in a meaningful way. In future, for example, we plan to precisely display and use familiar elements from the passenger car sector, such as the operating hours and fuel consumption, as well as data from the crane control and the ambient data, including the temperature and wind, which we make available online in real time. The customer will also have the ability to define job sites with the option to create application logs, for example, stating the support pressure or even the CO2 emissions. So, a whole lot more information and analysis possibilities. Stefan, what else do I need apart from a MyLeapair account? And how easy is the portal to use generally? Apart from an account in a created company, there are no prerequisites. OK, you need internet access, of course. Apart from that, the user doesn't really need to be computer savvy. If you're using mobile internet, you can use MyLeapair without a problem. Otherwise, we're happy to help through our global and local service organizations. All you need to do is give us a call. With MyLeapair, we want to make the experience transparent for our customers by making things simpler and easier. But we also enable customers to try my leap hair at trade fairs to have its features explained and also to register. Of course, this includes Balmer in Munich in the autumn and Connexpo in Las Vegas in March, as well as smaller trade fairs and training courses. Great, thank you both so much. So, just take a look at myleaphair.com. New cranes, new technologies, and new cranes in use. Deliveries of the LTM 1150-5.3 began in 2021. As the jewel of every fleet, it's been proving itself in service all over the world ever since. Its powerful, potentially record-breaking parameters in terms of hoist height, lifting capacity and weight, as well as its compact design, have already convinced many of our partners of its merits. High time for us to take a look at it on the ground in Europe. Off to Italy! A blue sign is affixed behind the windshield with Nick written in large letters on it. It sparkles almost as much as the new crane itself. Nicola Del Santo, who owns the metal sign, sits in his LTM 1150-5.3 and focuses on the tricky hoist. A long support made of 21 tons of reinforced concrete is suspended from the mobile crane's hook. We're on an enormous building site in South Tyrol. To be precise, we're pretty much at the northernmost tip of Italy. Nicola has to position this colossal component at a height of 14 meters. Not really a problem for the experienced operator and his powerful machine. The contractors here are erecting enormous sheds for an expanding recycling company, and Nicola and his Leapair crane are in charge of most of them. He'll be working here for around two weeks. 
It's a very fast machine, even when traveling on site. It's a balanced machine between tonnage and size and very agile. Yesterday we raised approximately 25 prefabricated units and the machine has shown excellent performance as it allows you to work quickly. As well as installing prefabricated concrete components, Nicola also has to assemble construction cranes on a regular basis. When doing so, a key aspect is the amended load charts for hoists with various wind speeds, which help to ensure safe and accident-free work. These so-called wind speed load charts can be viewed via the Lick-On control. Depending on the prevailing wind speed, the program makes different lifting capacity values available. Often, it's not the maximum load that's decisive, but rather safe working conditions on the construction site. And use of the wind speed load charts also means less downtime on site. We supply load charts for wind speeds of up to 15.6 meters per second. And that marks the end of today's edition. I look forward to hopefully seeing you at Bauma soon, or in our next issue of Upload, in which we'll be taking a look at some special cranes with red paintwork. See you then. Tschüss und bis bald.